Are you still copying others' prompts to make remix works? Do you want to create your own prompts? Today, we're going to learn how to turn an image from this to this. Before getting started, let's learn about what the prompt in AI painting is. The process of using prompts is not that we enter the prompt and AI makes paintings based on it, as we may assume. The correct process is that we enter the prompt, AI finds relevant images in its database based on the prompt and create new images based on those relevant images. So when sometimes AI cannot find images relevant to the provided prompts, it will be unable to generate the images that we want. During the creation process, there are positive and negative prompts. Positive prompts specify what we want the generated images to be like. Negative prompts specify what we don't want them to be like. An ideal prompt mainly includes the subject, environmental background, shot composition, image settings, reference styles, etc. You can check more details in the Sea Art Guides, tap Guides on the Sea Art website, or tap the link in the description of this video. The guides contains the tutorial on not only prompts, but also other features. If you're an AI novice, make sure to check this guides. Next, let's take a look at the entire process of creating prompts. At first, we simply enter what we want in the image based on the prompt formula. Make sure the subject is integrated with the environmental background. Now we only have positive prompts, no negative prompts. The generated image is very simple, basically aligning with our prompts. However, the light and the texture of the character are not satisfactory, making the whole image look unreal. Then we can edit the current prompts further. Add some image settings. You may select proper prompts in the prompt studio. For example, add words relevant to quality, such as high quality, 8K, and best quality. This sort of prompt can be used to create any image. It can be put in the beginning as a template. Then add words like NSFW, low quality, and low resolution in the negative prompts. We'll put a set of general negative prompts in the comment area later. You may just copy them to use. Tap Generate. This image is obviously much better than the image generated last time. The whole image background and the character details are more abundant. Now we can add a few more descriptions of the character, such as more realistic skin, better posture, and film feeling. Also, edit facial features and clothes. You can check the guides for the function of brackets here. They are mainly used to increase the weight of prompts. Then we enter the entire general negative prompts, mainly including descriptions of low quality, strange limbs, some watermarks, and blurs. Compared with that in the previous image, the character in this generated image has more realistic skin and more coordinated limbs and posture. The clothes and posture correspond with what we want. But as we see, this image is way too bright. The whole image lacks contrast. Next, we can focus on improving the image effects. Add some descriptions of the light and the background, such as this set of words. They can directly improve the image effects and enhance contrast. In addition, you may add some words relevant to image effects, such as background blur and blurring, and add opaque tight to increase the character vibe. Check the generation results. Compared with previous images, the whole background of this image is blurred, and the contrast of light and dark is enhanced. You can try using prompts to add a filter to the image. For example, add Fuji colors and film grain. The generated image has some film colors compared with the previous one, but not so obvious. You can increase the weight of the prompt. High weight prompts will be prioritized during the generation. The film colors now become more intense after the weight is increased. At last, you may add some scene words to make the whole scene more abundant with better vibes. Add words like night and candle, we can see that the background of the finally generated image turns into a night with a candle based on the original one. That's the entire process of creating prompts. First, enter a simple subject and a background. Then, add and edit more details based on our prompt formula. Many prompts can be selected and combined in the prompt studio. Through adjusting prompts step by step like this, we can adjust relevant prompts in time when encountering any problem later. In this way, you can add different LORAs based on the prompts to achieve different effects at last. Now try creating your own prompts on C-Art.